It's a difference, a big difference, Bob, between seeing cases ease in places across Europe and seeing real evidence that we can open this economy up anytime soon. Yeah, hi, John. I, I think that's exactly right. I think there's obviously some relief in the markets that certainly from a health perspective, we're not in free fall. Policymakers are stepping in. That's putting in an interim bottom. But I think as the quarter progresses and, and investors start to understand that everything we're seeing is in the form of assistance and aid to just tide the economy over, it's not actually stimulus that creates spending that gets the economy going at a much higher rate than where it is. Um, as I think about what the recovery will look like, I think it's more of a check mark than anything else. Well, Bob, at this point, I think it's easy for a programme like this just to be shaped exclusively where the price is of the market on any given day. I think we've got to be cautious about doing that. Just walk me through risk management, the best, most prudent way to manage risk in an environment like the one we're still in, Bob. Well, I think there, there are a lot of things that, that you have to do, uh, certainly from a bond investor's perspective. Uh, you've got to think about... Uh, what gives you safety of, of principle and interest, and are you sure they could last uh, several quarters of stress? I think you have to look opportunistically uh, where there could be some risk, but where you see policy having some sort of uh, response. And I think you have to be practical and, and common sense. It's ironic that, that Mike earlier mentioned 2008 because the second quarter to me this time feels a lot like the second quarter of 2008, where there was a lot of relief in the markets because of the policy response. There had been a lot of repricing. For goodness sakes, the Fed brought the Fed funds rate down from five and a quarter to two and a quarter, and everything looked okay. Then the reality of the data hit and how the economy would process all of that came into question. But remember, during that period in June, the ECB actually raised rates in June of 2008. So we need to be careful not to get too far over our skis and be practical in here.